Hello everyone, good evening. So here we shall solve some ACET previous year questions from the chapter permutation and combination. So any doubts if you have in steps, then please write that in the comment. And also in any other chapter of maths, if you have more difficulty, then please mention the that chapter also in. The then we shall give more clarity on it, solve more and more that chapter some important homework questions we uploaded sapiens application so please install our sapiens education application whose link has been provided description so here it is told that how many numbers of six digits can be found from the digits of the number one uh, uh, one lakh twelve thousand 133. So here we have six digits where two are same, two are one and two are two and two are three. So therefore the number the required number of six digits that can be formed by rearranging them will be uh, six factorial by two factorial into two factorial factorial. That will be six factorial means six five and into 5 into 4 3 into 2 1 divided by 2 into 1 into 2 into 1 into 4 2 is 8 6 5 is 30 30 into 3 that is 90 the answer is option 3. 3 is the correct answer then here it is told that if nc12 that is equal to nc6 then nc is how much so we know that if ncr that is equal to nc it means the sum of these should be equal to n therefore n should be equal to 12 plus 6 that is equal to 18 mm -hmm. therefore nc2 we have to find means 18 c2 we have to find nc2 means 18 by 2 into 17 by 1 that will be 2 9 the 18 19 9 into 17 that will be 3 9 so that in 1 2 is the correct answer then it is told that 10 chairs are numbered from 1 to 10. 10 chairs, 3 women are there and 2 men. They occupy, they wish to occupy 1 chair. First, the women choose the chairs marked 1 to 6 and the men choose the chairs from. It means that women will choose from 1 to 6. 6 and men has to choose from 7 to 10. It means that uh, the number of possible ways is. It means that three women has to choose out of these six chairs, and uh, men has to choose out of these four chairs. Therefore, the number of possible ways, the number of ways that by which they can do so, it will be to six C three C three into. 4c2 c3 into 4c2 so out of these any three they can choose and they can and these three women can also arrange among themselves by three factorial ways and these two men can also arrange among themselves by two factorial so we know that ncr into ncr into r factorial that will be equal to npr this can be written as 6pr 6p3 into 4p3 sorry 4p2 then 6c3 into 3 factorial that is 6p3 and 4c2 to 4c2 into 2 factorial is 4p2 that means that option d is the correct answer Then here it is told that A and B are non singleton sets. Since the number of elements in A and number of elements in B should not be equal to 1. This should not be equal to 1. And here it is told the number of elements in the in the Cartesian product of A and B of A cross B that is equal to 35. So if B is a subset of A, then N of A T N of B that will be how much? So B is a subset of A, it means 
obviously the number of elements in b should be less than the number of elements means the number of elements in b should be less than or equal to the number of elements in a since why since b is a subset of a which is given so number of elements in a and b should be obviously a whole should be obviously in natural number that means the number of elements in a cross b that will be number of elements in a times number of elements in b that should be equal to 35 that means the factors of 35 i can write it as 5 into 7 or 7 into 5 so it means that number of elements in a should be more than number of elements in b so n of a should be 7 and n of b should be 5 since why none of them can be equal to 1 <coughs> Therefore, 7C5 we have to find. So that will be same as 7C2. So that will be equal to 7 by 2 into 6 by 1. So 2, 3 is a 6. So that will 7, 3 is a 21. So option D is the correct answer. Then here it is told a student has to answer. A student has to answer 10 questions using at least 4 parts from the 4 from each of the parts A and B. If there are six questions in part A and seven questions in part B, so, so what he can do? He has to choose at least four from each part. So from A he can choose four and from B he can choose six. Or he can choose from A five questions, from B he can choose five questions. Or he can choose six questions from part A and four questions from part B. So therefore the number of ways the total number of ways that will be equal to out of these six questions he can choose four questions by six four ways into seven c six plus it will be six c five into seven c five <coughs> plus it will be six c six into seven c four that will be equal to six four means six by so it is same as 62 right c2 into 7c1 since we know that ncr is same as nc n minus r therefore this i can write 6c1 into 7c2 plus this will be 6c0 into 7c3 this will be 6 by 2 into 5 by 1 to 7 by 1 uh, uh, plus sorry plus 6 by 1 to 7 by 2 into by 1 because this will be 6 c 0 is 1 7 c 3 means 7 by 3 7 by 3 to 6 by 2 to 5 by 1 2 3 is 6 also 2 is 6 also 2 this will be equal to 7 because of 15 15 7 is 105 plus <coughs> Uh, 7 6 is 42, 42 into 3, that is 3 to the 6, before the 12, 42 into 3, that is 3 to the 6, 12, and then plus it will be 7 5 is 35, so equal to 5 plus 5, 10, is 16, 16, and then 1, 1 plus 5, that is 6, and then 2, 206 ways he can choose the 10 questions, so option C is the correct answer. Then here it is told if all permutations of the letters of the word mask are arranged as in the order as in a dictionary with or without meaning which of the following is the 19th word. So here so the order of the letters in the word mask that will be A and a b c d e f g h i j k l m n o p n o p q r s so a k f first a then k then m and then s so first we should find out how, how many words which will will start with the letter a so the number of words starting with starting with a starting with the letter a that will be equal to so x so first letter is a and the remaining we have for the remaining three we have a m and s so it means those can be arranged in three factorial ways 
equal to six. So six words are there which will start with with a. So the number of words starting with a, then the number of words starting with k I should find. So that will be also a, m, and s I have to arrange. That will be also three factorial. So that will be also six words. So six words will start with k, and then m will come. So when m will come, then the next word will be a k s m a m will the will be the first letter and then in the alphabetical order it will be a k and s and then the next and then the next word will be m a s and then k so it means 6 plus 6 therefore mask will be which word okay which will be the 19th word okay so it is asked that which is uh, okay so the following is the 19th word okay 19th word i have to find we don't have to find the rank of the word no. so here so the number of words starting with m that will be also three factorial since a k and s those three we have to arrange that will be also six so six three is 18 so then the letter which will start that will be s we start with s so it will be s a k m so 3 6 18 18 plus 1 so that is so s a k m this is the 19th word word so it means that none of the options are correct therefore none of the options No options are correct here so hope all of you have understood the solutions of all these questions on the chapter permutation and com combination so still any doubts if you have then please write that in the comments section and please up uh, and please install our sapiens education application where we shall upload some important homework questions based on the previous year kct exam which will be obviously helpful for your exam thank you everyone